Welcome back, everyone. We have a bombshell report coming from the Washington Post talking about how the Social Security Administration denies Americans disability benefits and these people need these benefits badly. I think the Social Security Administration is finally about to be exposed and the curtain will be pulled back between these major news articles now coming out and our platform, I think we could really make some change in this country. So let's get started and dive into today's news. But before we do, as always, make sure you guys do a couple things for me. Number one, give this video a tremendous thumbs up, smash that like button. I would appreciate that. And if you haven't already, make sure you are subscribed and the notifications turned on. We've gotten a ton of new people after our last social security did quite well. In fact, it was our most viewed video ever on this channel. So I thank you so much for all of your support. We couldn't do this without you. Thank you, thank you so much for your support. The next cash giveaway will be at 30,000 subscribers. With that being said, let's get started and dive right in. So new insights are showing, guys, that the Social Security Administration, the SSA, is denying many Americans. Some of these are, again, the most vulnerable people that need these benefits the most. And they're denying them disability benefits mainly due to outdated market data. Some claimants are being told that they're not eligible for disability payments because they could still work however the job cited no longer exists this is again primarily due to this outdated labor market data and if you look at the vast majority of the dictionary of occupational titles 12,700 entries well most of them were last updated in 1977 now fast forward to 2022 2023 and these are simply outdated now the department of labor originally compiled this dictionary but they abandoned it 31 years ago as the economy has now mainly shifted from blue collar manufacturing to mostly information and services but nevertheless social security and its 200 billion dollar disability system and its 15 million people that it provides these benefits to still rely on the dictionary at the final stage when a claim is reviewed. In fact, according to the Social Security Acting Commissioner, Kilolo Kijikazi, she had said in a statement to the Post, to date, the best available source for occupational information has been the Dictionary of Occupational Titles. She also added, quote, we have enlisted vocational experts to provide more detailed and current information about the jobs available in the national economy while we continue to work on creating our own occupational data source informed by the BLS or the Bureau of Labor Statistics that best reflects the current job market. But this is essentially proven to be not true. In fact, the guide includes 137 unskilled sedentary jobs that in reality were offshored, outsourced, shifted to skilled work, or disappeared altogether. One 47-year-old claimant who has suffered two debilitating strokes was denied benefits after being told he could find work as a nut sorter, a dowel inspector, or an egg processor, jobs that essentially no longer exist in the U.S., according to the Washington Post. According to this one New Jersey attorney who trains other disability attorneys, he had said, quote, it's a great injustice to these people. We're relying on job information from the 1970s to say thumbs up or thumbs down to people who desperately need benefits. It's horrifying, and it absolutely is. These people need these benefits, and they cannot find work because of their disability, and yet they're being told that they can work, but these jobs don't exist. They're essentially fake now in today's world. Now, Social Security officials have promised over the past 14 years that they would introduce a brand new state-of-the-art modern system that would reflect the modern job market. And we've been promised this again and again, but we have yet to see anything like it come out of the SSA. In fact, according to these reports, after spending at least $250 million since 2012 to build a directory of 21st century jobs, an internal fact sheet shows that Social Security is not using it, leaving antiquated vocational rules in place to determine whether disabled claimants win or lose. It is a zero-sum game in the eyes of Social Security. The reports also found that Social Security has estimated that the project's initial costs will reach about $300 $300 million, according to audits. Now, from what we understand, the Labor Department's Bureau of Labor Statistics has indeed built a new interactive system for Social Security using a national sample of 60,000 employers and 440 occupations covering 95% of the economy. However, according to Social Security, they have instructed their staff not to use the system. In other words, 
Don't do anything modern, nothing state of the art. Keep it in your old ways, old fashioned. So you have to wonder guys, who is overlooking the SSA? Where are the watchdog agencies? Where are the watchdogs making sure that there is no waste and fraud going on here? And it seems like there is. It seems like this is a criminal offense that if any other average American were to take place in something like this, they'd probably be put in jail. But because it is the US government, it does not matter. The US has printed trillions of dollars these past few years. Billions of dollars has been sent to Ukraine, and yet we do not have any extra money to give some disabled Americans the disability benefits that they are entitled to. Somehow, we just can't find the money to do that. Why do you think this is being done, guys? Do you think there's some hidden meaning, some hidden agenda going on here behind closed doors? Because clearly, the government knows that these jobs don't exist any longer and that they're clearly outdated. So why is this still happening? What are your thoughts? What are your opinions? Listen down below in the comments section. I'm curious to hear. Hopefully changes will be implemented to revamp this system, folks. It's an old fashioned, antiquated system that the American people cannot withstand. This is simply unsustainable in today's world. So hopefully some changes could be made. Make sure you go ahead and share this video. Get the word out, spread it on social media, share it with a coworker, a friend, whatever you wanna do. Make sure you go ahead and smash the like button. It will just help with the YouTube algorithm, so it does support me and the channel. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you are subscribed and have notifications turned on. That will notify you when we do post a brand new video. If you want to get some free stocks, all me, all free, use the brokerage links down below in the description. Sign up with the brokerage platforms Robinhood and or Weeble. You'll get some free stocks, some values of thousands of dollars in some cases. So let us know the stocks you get. And if you want to connect with me on social media, I am on Instagram, I'm on Facebook, I am on TikTok. Use the social links down below. I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Take care for now.